All right, garden is up and running. Everything seems to be stabilized and doing well. Got some jalapenos coming in, some peppers. Stalks look nice and green. A lot of tomato plants. Got some flowers coming in. Got a nice little tomato. These were transplanted from soil about three three weeks ago. So they've uh, taken well to the aeroponic system. Got some pepper plants that also were transplanted about three weeks ago, but they don't seem to be growing. I'm wondering if the pH might be a little bit off from the tomato plants. Got a little research to do there. Going um, through about a gallon of water a day, which is a little bit more than I thought. This is a, a cucumber plant that I just transplanted yesterday, so he's just still trying to get through that transition period. There's a couple cauliflower plants that are, they're not doing great, but uh, I don't know. I'll give them another week or two before maybe I pull them. Just really aren't uh, thriving in the environment, not quite sure why. And uh, these are another couple pepper plants that just kind of stagnant there. I have uh, two zones um, for the sprayers. I get 10 sprayers on each side. Each one goes on for about 15 seconds each. Um, I have a timer that kicks one on for 15 seconds, turns it off, turns the back 10 sprayers on for about 15 seconds, and then goes off for about two minutes. And then the cycle will repeat. Um, I'm gonna, um, about a four gallon reservoir there. The roots are doing well, but again, the plant itself just really hasn't uh, thrived. I'm not quite sure why. About three weeks ago, I had to basically tear this down and redo a few things. I had uh, just the pod sitting in the empty holes that I hadn't filled yet. I needed to get some tape on there. Spray heads look good. The roots are running at uh, 100 PSI. I had to do the two different zones to make sure that I didn't drop below that 100 PSI. If I was running all 20 heads at the same time, it would drop too much, so I split it into two. There's my timer. It's a two-channel timer, so I'm able to control two solenoids. I'll get some more details up over the next few weeks of all these individual parts. That's the pressure gauge for the pump. There's the 8800 that uh, runs, kicks on pretty much every two minutes, so each cycle it'll kick down probably to about 95 PSI, and then it'll bring it back up to 105 about. And underneath that I got the, uh, uh, that's the, uh, just the pump switch for the pressure switch. And I got some batteries down here for a battery backup just in case the power goes out. I got an expansion tank down here with a hundred feet of line going down into the ground about 15 feet. That gives me about a 10 degree drop once the water comes out of the expansion tank and then the difference between the expansion tank and the water that's in the, um, in the, the spray heads.